another skin condition that can present to you before the pediatrician when the, the parents bring their baby with multiple um, large subcutaneous or deep uh, nodules. Uh, and this is called um, subcutaneous fat necrosis of the newborn. And the initial treatment should usually started by the pediatrician rather than the uh, pediatric dermatologist. Although it's rare, but it's very important to diagnose early. It usually occurs in the first few uh, days of, uh, of life. Uh, it's a form of paniculitis, which is if inflammation of the subcutaneous layer of the skin of a known cause, but the triggering factors usually either fetal distress during uh, delivery, low oxygen uh, levels, cold temperature, uh, especially if you have the baby born in a very cold rooms where there's an air condition um, or you leave, leave the baby on uh, a table or weighing machine for a long time, um, cesarean, cesarean section and infection as triggering factors. Uh, they are very painful and that the baby will be clearly uh, distressed. And the most common complication is hypercalcemia. And that's why I've said you need to start them um, uh, the treatment as soon as possible if you have a suspicious of um, subcutaneous and fat necrosis. Uh, as you know, hypercalcemia will lead to irritability, constipation, poor weight gain, and very rarely arrhythmia. Sometimes you, you will see thrombocytopenia and hyperlipidemia, and treatment usually management of the hypercalcemia only with regular follow up and maybe regular HCGs, and usually takes uh, six to eight weeks to settle down. Uh, that, that the lesion itself does not need any topical treatment or other systemic treatment apart from correction of the hyper.